So you insert it, mm -hmm. and then you rotate it about 90 degrees, and then you got to take the whole thing and rotate that. Oh. Show starting. Mandatory update. Welcome to Mandatory Update, everybody. Yeah. Mandatory whatever. Ian, what's the matter? Get your energy up. The show's starting. I'm just, I'm just jealous because you're going to E3, and I'm going to be stuck here, twiddling my thumbs. Ian. I'm going to E3, you're going to E3, Alan's going to E3, we're all going to E3, we're doing big mandatory update. A big E3 mandatory show. update show? Yeah! Hey! hey! We're going to go big and then go home. Yep. Well, it's going to be not great. Not to our own homes, but. To someone's home. Yep. Maybe yours. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be great. I'll get the tacos. And I will bring the sadness. Great. Let's start this show. The Oculus Rift VR will be integrated into the Chuck E. Cheese experience this month. A Chuck E. Cheese representative said, We're excited about the addition of the VR headset to our locations. Our research has shown that the games children play using their hands can only retain a certain amount of filth and thus can only transmit germs with a 65% efficiency. Whereas our science department assures us that with the amount of face grease that's going to build up on these Oculus Rifts, no one's getting out of there without at least a cold or maybe a mild fever. Philips is suing Nintendo for damages and wants them banned from selling the Wii U, claiming patent copyright infringement. Philips has pointed to Nintendo's AR and Wiimote technology as alleged copies of their own technology. Nintendo responded by swishing their cape and throwing a smoke bomb while shouting, We've got enough money to survive another 50 years. We'll see you in hell, Philips! Former Civilization IV designer Soren Johnson is looking to reimagine the RTS genre with a new game, Offworld Trading Company. The multiplayer game will focus more on building and collecting resources rather than creating units. Having spent many months in college playing the Icelandic boredom simulator EVE Online like it was my second job, I have to say I'm pretty stoked for Offworld Trading Company. A new trailer premiered this past Wednesday for Batman Arkham Knight. You can get a glimpse of the city, some of the villains, and take a closer look at the Batmobile. I can summarize it for you now. The city looks the same, the villains are the same, and the Batmobile has wheels. It's all part of the plan, Batman! <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> In a tweet sent out by Alex Hutchinson, creative director at Ubisoft, he explains that the character on the box for Far Cry 4 is neither the protagonist nor is he white. For me, the issue isn't one of race, but sexuality. I'm tired of the old stereotype that gay men force other men to hold live grenades as they sit slightly behind them. It wasn't true in the 40s, and it's not true now, Far Cry. When will the hate stop? For more on the Far Cry 4 news story, we welcome special guest and character designer, Paul Jean Janvier. I see. Uh, very important. Very bangable. All right, I'm going to say more bangable than the nanny from Muppet Babies, but less bangable than Mater from Cars. Thank you. Sources say that YouTube may be acquiring Twitch for $1 billion. We're not going to do it. Don't do it. God damn it. The creator of Night Trap says that he is talking to a number of publishers to bring the game to modern consoles with better gameplay. The game is exactly the same as the original, but with one important addition. Here's a clip. Microsoft Vice President Phil Harrison will act as a keynote speaker at the second annual DICE Europe conference. The keynote address is titled, How Not to Listen to Consumers and Do Things Years After They Should Have Been Done, based on the novel Push by Sapphire. The Rich List counts down Britain's 1,000 wealthiest individuals, and this year, the investors behind Candy Crush took a higher spot than rock stars combined wealth. Those Brits sure love their candy. Why do you say that? Because of their teeth? What? No, they just really like candy. Well, might say they have a crush on candy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Norway, we are really sorry about the tanks thing. Yes. Ubisoft has released a promotional video for Watch Dogs that shows them pranking people into believing that Watch Dogs won't suck. Action shooter Bullet Girls is coming to Japan this August. It takes place in a school where the female students are part of a society called the Ranger Club, and they face off with paintball-like guns. The game will feature costume customization with 1600 bra and panty combinations. We have the game's designer right here. <laughs> YouTuber Adrian Jensen has made a video that imagines what Pokemon characters would look like performing Mortal Kombat fatalities. 
The answer, as you probably guessed, is really fucking sexy. Microsoft said that the next installment of the Halo franchise, Halo 5 Guardians, will hit next year and be a bigger effort for 343 Industries. They are moving the effort dial up from none to some. So it's looking to be an acceptable game. The new GTA 5 update has a feature called Mental State that indicates which players are more prone to terrorizing other players. Normally players appear as white blips on the map, but in the new system, players that engage in griefing, blowing up other players' cars, or killing pedestrians will be shown on the map as a red blip. The update, called GTA 5 Red Blips Fucking Everywhere, is out now. Nintendo is offering priority spots to fans who cosplay as their favorite characters at this year's E3 Super Smash Bros. tournament. It's a good thing that they introduced that new alcoholic stepdad challenger to the game. I'm going as Kirby. Hiya! In other news, Nintendo finally shut down the online functionality for Wii and DS games. Players will no longer be able to play games online, download new content, or access leaderboards. Damn it. Now we'll never know where I stand in the ranking for Barbie Groom and Glam Pups. I was just about to beat that fucker Puppy Hugs 2005 too. God damn it. You can always play it on the 3DS. It just won't be the same. Dark Souls creator Hidetaka Miyazaki is now president of From Software, the company that develops the Souls series. Hang on a second. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hang on, hang on. You can't play the whole thing. Play the whole thing. Pass up, face down. Still work. Like dog style. Hold that ass steady. You fucking for a while. So don't you hold back. Or you can hold that. Pull out, pull in. Yeah, hold that. Good from the front, but it's better from the back. How you make that ass clap when I hit back? Not a normal chick here like a porno chick. Have your body woke out when I'm done with it. Hey, can I hit that? You with that? Can I really, really hit it from the back? Can I hit that? Bandai Namco explained this week that the next Soul Calibur game will not have multiplayer because they are switching to a pay-to-win system. I liked you better when you were Namco Bandai. Mm -hmm. A new study found that in matches between blue and red teams in League of Legends, the blue team won significantly more times than the red team. When asked for analysis of why one color is favored over the other, one Riot employee said simply, because we're racist. During a promotional event for pro skater and entrepreneur Tony Hawk's iOS game Shred Sessions, the man himself revealed that there's a chance his skateboard-oriented game series will re-emerge on newer consoles. When asked to clarify, he said, you know, I don't know, like the Dreamcast or whatever. I gotta go, rad dudes, before skateboarding away to a nearby flea market and buying every VHS copy of Gleaming the Cube he could find while bitterly crying. He also bought Cool Runnings. He couldn't pass on that deal, man. League of Legends players can now download an unofficial skin for Nasus to turn him into Snoop Dogg. It comes with Snoop's signature dance, but the skin can only be seen locally. Only locally? Well, that's great. I've got a Snoop Dogg skin on right now. Yeah, yeah. I've got a Lara Croft skin. And I'm completely naked. That you are. That's our show for the week, everybody. Thanks for watching, I guess. Good night and good game. I have to say, I'm pretty stoked for Off World Trading Company. Is that even a joke anymore? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it's just a statement. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Why do we fold Master Bruce so we can pick ourselves up again? <laughs> you should say, my cocaine. My, my, co my, my cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> my cocaine. My cocaine. My cocaine. My she was only cake. 16 years old. <laughs> hey, they're playing Temple of Doom somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're playing Temple of Doom it's just somewhere. somewhere. 30th anniversary. Wait, my Temple of Doom sense is tingling. It's a state that indicates which cage. Indicates. Indicates which woman need to be hit with an open. With an open fist. Never a closed <laughs> fist. No. You can hit the woman, but with an open hand. Sometimes. They need it. They like it. The, yeah. Put them in their place. It's a t-shirt. Mallard! Mallard! As we bring them together <laughs> today. <laughs> Mallard! That blessing! <laughs> a wine <laughs> That dream! Within a 
Aubrey. 